previously on Keeping Up With Kyrie. He still sucks. The main issue with this guy is he is a loser. He has no leadership qualities. And if you believe that he does, I want you to take one moment. I want you to step back and think about something just to yourself. What has he done by himself? Oh man, oh man, it's Kyrie Irving time. Here we go again on the roller coaster where I have to listen to people defend this crazy lunatic. Kyrie has made his transition to the Brooklyn Nets flawlessly, where he is now going to be the leader that we all knew he could be. Wait. Um. Scratch that. He's with Kevin Durant. Never mind. Kevin Durant will be the leader, and he'll be the sidekick that he definitely wanted to be. Looking at some of the comments on my last video, I see a few of you truly believe Big Shot Kyrie carried LeBron to his uh, ring in Cleveland. Oh, 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 yeah, no, 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 he, he, he didn't do that. Yeah, of course he did. We all know those stats mean nothing. It's all about the one big shot. We also ignore that big block, but no, 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 no. The sidekick role, all jokes aside, was actually the perfect thing for Kyrie. He could focus on being the ISO ball player that he needed to be, and he was near perfect for what Cleveland wanted him to be. But that wasn't enough for Kyrie. What did Kyrie want? He wanted to be the man, right? He can win on his own. Oh, wait. I don't think that um, some of my teammates have faced of just every single day. It's not easy to be great. He left the team that he wanted to win on his own with and joined another superstar. Okay, I'll well, ignore that. Who cares about that anymore? Guess what? He wants to start his own NBA league. He wants to start his own basketball league. He doesn't, he thinks the NBA is not needed anymore. It shouldn't restart so they can focus on uh, social issues, he stated. He said we can't end the movement yet. Except for the Players Association voted to restart the league and he's a representative of it. Huh. They voted to restart it, and he claims that there's something fishy going on that they're restarting the league. Kyrie, what is going on in that flat brain of yours? Can you please explain to us where your logic is coming from? You're so well-spoken, so genuine. I believe so many of the lies that come out of your mouth. You, my good sir, are just blowing my mind lately. Every day, I get so excited to just find out what's Kyrie going to do next. Who would be willing to give it all up? This man, a man who has more money in his bank account than 90% of professional athletes ever will. Man, you're telling me he doesn't want to get paid anymore. He's so thoughtful and caring about everyone else around him. I can't believe he could give up playing basketball for the rest of his life. Well, Kyrie, here's the honest truth. If you are willing to give it up, stop saying it. Your talk is cheap. WNBA star Maya Moore took time off from the league to focus on social injustice issues that are plaguing the community and hurting her personally and she has taken it upon herself to put her money where her mouth is and Kyrie I don't know last time I checked I don't think Maya Moore makes even half of what you make even a fourth of what you make so buddy why don't you instead of bashing everyone else for wanting to restart the league why don't you just take the year off you're injured half the time anyways I'm pretty sure the Nets actually play better last time I checked when you're not on the court so I think they'll be okay. And what about when Kyrie and KD are both discussed as two of the top 10 players, and then you have DeAndre Jordan as one of the, I'm not gonna put him in the top five center anymore, but he's definitely a very competent center. And here we are, Kyrie Irving, in his first season joining a new team, goes on the record in a post game, stating, oh, we need another piece or two to contend. Man, what a winner. What a champion. He, he deflected all the blame in Boston, said, oh, I got all these young kids. It's so hard to deal with them. And then so he goes to play with Kevin Durant, and first thing he does when he gets to the new team is start explaining to them about how, well, well you guys suck too. Well, last, last time I checked, they didn't have two top 10 players, and they pushed the 76ers, who were very close to going to the finals, they pushed them to the very limit. And you can defend them in all the comments you want. And as up on the screen right now, you're probably looking at Someone tell me, oh, but he's he's got such sick handles. He can he can do so many things that no one else can. Well, his twin brother, Carmelo Anthony, also is a very, very, very talented NBA player. 
He's going to shut up. He's not going to be demanding. And he's going to go play for the Trailblazers. And he's going to be the sidekick. He's not going to be the main focus. And even then, who knows if it'll ever work out for him. Kyrie Irving, you still puzzle me to this very day on what you're doing. And who knows? All that matters is we're going to find out when the NBA season restarts and you finally take the court again with your best friend, Kevin Durant. Have you ever had a shooting stretch like this? I think it's now at this point uh, 19 for 62. Uh, you know, the expectations on me are going to be sky high. Um, and I try to utilize their aggression against them and still put my teammates in great positions while still being aggressive. I'm trying to do it all. So, um, you know, for me, the 22 shots, you know, I should have shot 30. You know, it, it really not great of a shooter. So I, I think that just the consistency of just going at it, staying aggressive is always going to put us in a great position.